What's going on everybody, it's Rob here from App Unlock, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 Cydia tweaks of the month, June week 2 edition, so I hope you enjoy them. Coming in at number 5 is a tweak called Clear on Open. Basically what Clear on Open does is clears your spotlight search after you search it. So if I search Real here for Real Racing and scroll to my Springboard page, as you can see, it has deleted it just like so. Uh, it saves me clicking the X in the top right corner to clear the search. So if I show you what it will be like on a Real device, if I type in Real and scroll to the main page and back, it's still there. But with clear on open you scroll to the home page and you notice that the clear on open has cleared your spotlight search so that is clear on open coming in at number four is a tweak called mini player 2.3 as you can see here you can change the color and basically put it wherever you want now what mini player is is a sort of mobile in-app version of the music player and it's able to stay open in pretty much all apps and most games you can also have it as a widget so you could maybe use gridlock and place it at the bottom of your springboard page and hide it when apps open basically you can double tap to change the color you can search to search a song and if you do tap the album artwork up here in the top left corner or the left hand side of mini player you can create a queue which essentially is a playlist but you choose the order in which the songs are played which I do think is a pretty good feature as iTunes or the music app doesn't really have that feature unless you don't shuffle it and set the songs up yourself in iTunes and import them. So I do think that is a pretty good feature right there. As you can see you can just slide it to the side and for me I hide it because I don't like it opening it in apps so I just double tap my springboard homepage or the status bar depending on what's free. Now coming in at number 3 is a tweak called Alt Keyboard. As you can see, instead of going to the numbers 1, 2, 3, I can just hold on Q and swipe up, hold on W and swipe up, and hold on E and swipe up um, to see to basically get the numbers to appear. And I can just put in any symbol really, so as you can see by the other letters on the keyboard, there's different symbols above it. So I'm just going to demonstrate a few of them here for you. So that is essentially Alt Keyboard. It lets you uh, put in characters or symbols without pressing the 1, 2, 3, so it does save you time. Right, my second favourite tweak is a tweak called VLOX. As you can see, if I hold on Notes and swipe down, I get a uh, little sort of toggle or tweak, as you call it, and where I can just literally create a new note. The same with messages, if I swipe down I can compose a new message and in settings they offer a great feature called quick settings where you can adjust your settings quickly without having to go through the numerous pages in the settings app to maybe adjust your brightness or your sound settings. Right, in the uh, apps with notifications if you scroll down on VLOX you also get a quick overview of any uh, notifications you have for that app. Now my favourite tweak of the month is a tweak called Lock Toggles. As you can see on my uh, lock screen page I have a bunch of toggles which I can scroll through. Now there are numerous settings in the settings tab to adjust the layout and how you navigate through so to stop you navigating through uh, by paging or scrolling. As you can see here I can adjust my brightness and change a few other settings which is really useful from the lock screen as sometimes I just want to maybe change the brightness down from my lock screen to save unlocking my phone, going into settings and adjusting the brightness. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I will plan on uh, bringing more videos weekly so stay tuned.